Given how much the field has advanced in the last 20 years, what do you see as being the next, some of the next frontiers in Ooh. dinosaur paleontology? Okay, you know, uh, that's a really fun question. Uh, it's a lot, and you know, I'm, I'm not saying that, that, that art imitates science or vice versa, but in some ways it does. Uh, if you think back to the first Jurassic film, the technology that they had for that looks primitive in terms of what we can do today. Uh, and at the time of that film, if you had said to me, well, what color was a dinosaur? I would have said, I don't know, whatever you say, um, I can't prove you're wrong. Now we actually have some ideas. Okay? Uh, for example, we can see melanosomes, which are pigment structures in preserved feathers and, and patterns of, of dark and light on skin, things we never even dreamed of back when those first things, uh, films were first made. Uh, we didn't know about feathers back then. So my answer is, I have no idea what we might find in the next 10 to 20 years, but I do know we will find things we wouldn't have dreamed of today. Uh, and, and just like if you had told me there was uh, uh, in, in film and animation that, that instead of just animators, we now had modelers and riggers and lighters and, 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 and comp compositors and, and, and things like that, jobs that didn't exist 20 or 30 years ago, I am sure that 20 or 30 years from, from now, there are gonna be discoveries that we would have even imagined today. Wow. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's really exciting.